What is up, 513 Garage? John back here with another video. Um, today, we're gonna be doing a little something different. Um, the Z is kinda put away for winter right now. It's kind of uh, all taken apart. There's a little bit of uh, maintenance stuff I wanna do to it, like replace that filter. Um, but today, what we are going to be doing um, is something that I've seen a lot but never actually done personally um i was driving on my way home from work and i got a notification that my tire pressure was low so sure enough when i got home i uh, looked around a little bit and i don't know if you can see that reflection right there there is a screw in my tire um it's pretty easily noticeable the shiny metal against the black rubber um so what we're going to be doing today is patching up that hole. Um, I got this kit from O'Reilly's for $7. It's a tire repair kit. Uh, basically there's two little tools in here. The first one is for digging out whatever uh, foreign object is in the tire. The other one has two little teeth. Um, you will put one of these black rubber whatever pieces in between there you jam it in the hole um, and you leave I think probably an inch of it exposed sticking out on either end and then uh, when you pull the tool out um, it'll be stuck in there plugging up the hole and then uh, you use like a razor or something you just cut off the ends um, so yeah that's what we're going to be doing I'm probably just going to set up the uh, camera and maybe do a time lapse or maybe just kind of talk to you guys while I do it. Uh, hopefully I'm not blocking the camera the whole time, but uh, it's cold out. Um, it was the first day of snow um, in Ohio, so it's pretty cold out. I'm going to try to knock this out real quick. Um, but basically the tools that I'm going to use are my drill my impact. I'm going to try to get that screw out and see if I can just back it out. And then uh, I'm going to prepare this before I do that so that when I do get it out, I can just cram this in there and plug up the hole. Um, so I'm going to go grab a razor and then uh, we'll start on that. All right, you guys. So we're going to get started here and open up this kit. Um, so inside the kit, you'll have this tool. The camera will focus. Uh, it's kind of just for like digging out all the objects and stuff. Um, I don't really think I'm going to need this, so I'm going to set it aside for right now. The main thing that we are going to use is this tool. Um, hopefully the camera picks it up. On the end right here, it's kind of like scissors. They don't open on their own, but it's got, it looks like pinchers almost. Um, so you're going to feed uh, one of these things. Uh, until it's in the middle like that. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that now. Um, these things are pretty sticky. So hopefully with it being so cold out that doesn't affect it at all. Um, so we just take one of these out and then uh, we're basically just going to feed it in here. It's starting to go. It's getting, it's pretty sticky. It's just kind of sticking to the sides. Um, if you just kind of wiggle it up and down, it starts to go a little more. Just like that. So we've got it about uh, halfway on here, um, right down the middle. So the idea is if this is the hole in the tire, we're going to cram it down in there until it's sticking up a little bit. And then we're going to pull the tool out and this little gap at the very end will allow uh, 
this part to slide through there as we pull the tool out and then it'll be plugged up like that and then we'll just take a razor and just cut off the excess and then uh, we'll fill it up with a little bit of air and uh, check for leaks. You can usually hear it. Um, you can also spray it with soapy water and uh, it should bubble up. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, hopefully you guys can see, but I'm gonna try to do this kind of quickly. So, put my impact on the lowest setting. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna go grab the pliers and I'll come back. All right, we're back. I've got some uh, pliers. I'm basically just gonna try to yank this out real quick. Um, there we go. Uh, little tiny screw, just like that, uh, can ruin your day. So, I can't see where the hole is anymore but I'm going to try to find it and then uh, jam this down in there. All right, you guys, um, I apologize. I did a very crappy job at filming this, um, but it's, uh, it's almost seven o'clock PM. I start work at 6 AM and I got about a 40 minute commute downtown to uh, Cincinnati. Um, so I was kind of in a rush to get this done. Hopefully this holds up and I don't have to do it again. I'm gonna knock on wood. Um, but don't make the mistake that I did. I did this when my tire was full of air. Um, it was full at like 37 PSI. Um, so the entire time I was just trying to fight all the air pressure while I was trying to push it in. And I think that's why it wasn't working for me at first. So. If you've got like a little air compressor, um, it makes it a crap ton easier. Just let all the air out of your tire. I dropped mine down to about six or seven PSI. Um, I don't know where I put it, but right there. I've got a little gauge um, to check my tire pressure. Uh, you never know when things like that are gonna come in handy, but um, I dropped it down to about seven PSI um, so that there was no air fighting me. And then uh, I used that little tool and just kind of cram that thing down in there. Um, and there was probably about, I don't know, maybe an inch to three quarters of an inch of that uh, sticking out still. Um, so that way I know that the majority of it is inside the tire plugging it up. Um, and it's really sticky. So as you drive all the friction from the tire on the road it heats up the rubber tires so hopefully it heats up that uh, little plug and then all the glue and everything just creates a really airtight seal um, but yeah so you just cram the thing back in there you can wiggle it up and down side to side just try to wiggle it in there to try to get it to go in um, smoother and then uh, once you got about three quarters to an inch left um, quickly pull it out um, because if you pull it out super slow, there's a possibility that you'll pull the plug out with it. Um, a, a buddy of mine taught me that. So uh, when you pull it out, pull it out super quick, um, almost like you're starting a lawnmower, just kind of yank it uh, really quick. But um, it's not the prettiest, but you can see right there, it still sticks out a tiny bit. Um, I left a little bit of excess. But another thing that you can do, um, another little tip or trick, um, get a little uh, a little sprayer. If you got like an empty detailer bottle, hang on to it. Fill it up with some soapy water. Spray the crap out of that, and then with that soap and water mixture, any air that comes out will create bubbles. So as you can see. I've drenched this thing and there are no bubbles forming from air coming out. So that lets me know that this is a airtight seal. Um, and the reason I know that is because it it's full back at 37 PSI. So after you empty all the air out of the tire, plug it. And then uh, there's, you can like leave the excess hanging out until you know you're done. Um, or what I did was just cut it as soon as I plugged it. 
Um, and then after I plugged it and cut it, I filled it back up to 37 PSI. I didn't hear any air leaks. I sprayed it with the soapy water and I still don't see any air leaks. So um, yeah, I hope you guys find this video uh, informational. Um, I was in such a pinch that I was about to take it to uh, like a Firestone or something like across the street just because I needed to have this done um, in order for me to go to work tomorrow in the morning. Um, but literally this kit was $7 at uh, O'Reilly, um, $7 after tax. So it's a little bit cheaper than that. Um, and that saved me, I think I, I called Firestone just as a worst case scenario and I asked them for a quote. They said $35 to patch a normal tire. So $35 versus $7 and it took maybe half an hour and a little bit of muscle. Um, it's really not impossible to do. You guys would be surprised if you just search stuff on YouTube. There's so many more things that you can do on your own and not pay a shop to do it. You just have to have a little bit of common knowledge. And if you've had a long day like me, maybe you overlook some stuff, but just watch a bunch of informational videos um, and you guys could easily do this yourself. So I'm gonna leave my truck uh, parked on this side of my driveway. Just if for whatever reason overnight something happens, I've got my air compressor hooked up right here. Um, it's obviously not full of air, but the, uh, the outlet's turned off and the air compressor's turned off. So if I need to, I'll probably wake up 15, 20 minutes earlier in the morning. Um, and if I need to, I can just fill the tire up with a little bit more air. But uh, yeah, that is a uh, $7 tire repair kit. Um, I've heard rumors that if it's in like the sidewall, you can't really patch that. If it's in the tread, you can. So mine was in the tread right here. Um, luckily for me, it was a shiny silver screw and I was able to spot it right away. Um, if you've got like a nail or something that's like black or like a dark gray or brown, it's gonna be a lot harder to see it on a black rubber tire. Um, so I kind of lucked out with this, but uh, yeah, just if you have a garage or if you have a flashlight, you can do it at night too. Just just try to look and inspect the whole tire and try to see if you find anything or you could even listen for the air leak if it's that big of an air leak. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna quit uh, rambling on. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any tips or tricks, uh, leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any uh, other ways that you do it, definitely uh, leave that in the comments. Um, we're all here to help each other out in the car community. Uh, so I hope this helped you guys. And uh, like always, like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, and comment down below what you would like to see in the next video. Um, thank you guys so much. The channel is slowly growing. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.